she tells him that the coast is clear. He sits her down on the bed, and she can finally do what she wants. He asks her what is it, and she tells him that her husband can't give her a baby, so he'll have the honor of making it so. She grabs him by the shirt and throws him on the couch. He tells her to stop that, but she says he's the solution. He grabs her by the arms, stopping her, asking her what's happening. She tells him that she needs him and he doesn't know what she means. He can't believe he's the only one who can help her, asking her where's his boss. She says he's at the market, that she only needs five minutes with him. Suddenly, she sees that her husband came back home. He greets his wife and asks his worker why is he there. He says that he forgot his phone, so he couldn't talk to him, and that's why he decided to come in to see what time he wants him there at the job. He says he wanted to talk to him about that as well, that people over there like to start right in the morning, so he can show up at 7. He tells his boss that's what he wanted to know, thanking him and excusing himself. He's taking his daughter out. And the woman can't believe he's going to meet another woman, that she's tired of him lying to her, and she wants him to tell her the truth already. He has no idea where did she pull that out, asking if she's crazy or something, saying he's taking his daughter to her school, telling her to keep her mind in the right place. She's mad at him for paying so much attention to his daughter, saying that she wants one too, but he doesn't want to go out with her, that she's tired of being left out. He tells her that they talked about it already, that he can't be a father anymore, that he would give her a son, but he tells her that he's sorry, that he can't be a father anymore. He wonders if she wants a miracle, and she says she does, that she's young, he knows that she dreams about being a mother, but then she tells him to get out of her way. He can't believe she's having that meltdown, and he goes back to his daughter. If you can't give me a son, I'll go after someone that can. I'll not wait for you. He goes back to her after some time, and he can't believe she's bummed about that still. Telling her to take her mind off that. She says she can't help it, that she truly dreams of being a mother and he simply can't make her dream come true, that she doesn't know what else she can do. He tells her to see from his perspective as he sees hers. He says it's not his fault that he can't do it again. He says he can't have kids anymore. She just doesn't know what to do, that he made a lot of tests already and no doctor can find out what he has. He really wanted to, but he apologizes, saying that he can't anymore. She's tired of this, but she reassures him that she hasn't given up on her dream yet. She tells him that the coast is clear. He sits her down on the bed, and she can finally do what she wants. He asks her what is it, and she tells him that her husband can't give her a baby, so he'll have the honor of making it so. He goes ahead and closes the blinds, asking her if she wants a baby. She wants to tell her partner that she made some more tests, and it's waiting for the results, but she tells him that he's going to be a father. She wasn't talking to her partner, Miller. The man says he's not going to be the father. That she asked him for a baby, and he gave her one, but he says that her husband will take the responsibilities, not him. She tells him not to say that, and that's when her husband comes home. He asks him what is he doing there with his wife, asking if he bought everything he needs already. He apologizes, saying he'll do it right now. He tells his wife to be careful, to pay attention to what she's doing. This woman can't believe how bad his house is looking, saying his wife is useless. She can't understand how he can be together with her that she doesn't like how she treats him, and worse than how she treats him is how bad she is as a housewife. He understands his wife, saying that she dreams of having a kid, 
and he just can't anymore. He's always working as well, so she gets down like that and doesn't do house chores. She says she can't do that, that she has to take care of him above all else. She needs to understand that he can't be a father anymore, saying her dream is just a whim, that it's not his fault if he can't have kids anymore. He says they went to a lot of doctors and did a lot of tests, there's really nothing else he can do. She tries to comfort him, saying that he can relax and that she'll talk to her. He thanks his sister her hugs her. The wife is talking to the real father of her baby on the phone, saying that she can't throw this bomb at her husband like that, that she's actually going to have two babies instead of one. The husband's friend went to her bedroom to talk to her and instead is eavesdropping on that conversation. She begs him not to do this to her. And the woman claps her hands for her, saying that she always knew who she really was. She can't believe she's doing that to her brother, that he's a good person and she's treating him like that. She can't believe she heard all those things, and she's glad she did, that she heard all of her plots, that she's going to have two babies with his brother's worker. As they're having this heated discussion, he hears the screams and comes in. He asks who's pregnant, and she tells his wife to let him know who's the one who'll have two babies. She tells him to calm down, that she'll explain, but he's completely lost about what's happening, so his sister tells him everything. That she heard his wife saying that she was pregnant with two babies and that his worker, Andrew, is the father. Saying that she was cheating on him with that man. There's a moment of silence. And he can't believe she did that to him. He says that his sister was saying how bad she is just now, and he defended her. He can't believe what he just heard, asking her how she could do something like that. She always told him that she dreamt of being a mother and that she wouldn't give up on it. The sister says that's not enough reason to cheat someone telling her brother to do something already, to leave that horrible woman. She says that his wife didn't want to just get pregnant, that she was enjoying herself in the process, lying down with another man like that. She didn't like her before, and she can't stand this woman now, telling her brother to make her get out of his house. Another moment of silence. He says he can't do anything, that she always dreamed about this, that she told him from the beginning, to everyone's surprise, he says he'll support her, that he'll be the father of those kids because he deeply loves his wife. She can't believe what he's just saying, asking if he's going to forgive her just like that. She doesn't even know why she's wasting her breath, that there's no use in talking to him. She'll respect his decision, immediately leaving the room. He says that they'll be together no matter what.